Now, as you're getting ready this morning, you'll probably grab a pair of socks, put them on, and think nothing of it. Well, socks are a basic piece of clothing that you'll notice probably only if they're not there. A group of healthcare heroes is swooping in now to make sure that the most vulnerable in Arlington are taken care of. And 7 News health and wellness reporter Victoria Sanchez has the story that you'll see only here on 7 News. Some families leaving abusive relationships or experiencing homelessness only have what they're wearing. The employees at VHC Health are reaching past the Arlington Hospital walls to help warm some hearts and feet. For one month, the different hospital departments went toe to toe. Who can collect the most socks? From plain white, Pokemon, even fuzzy unicorns. The socks will help victims of domestic violence and sexual assault and children experiencing homelessness. This is the second year of the sock hop and the goal was to get at least 5,000 pairs. That's the amount they donated to nonprofit doorways in 2022. The friendly competition heated up in the fourth week and in the end, the hospital collected 13,000 pairs. From security, from the nurses, from our executive team, from lab, from registration, Registration, um, everyone. When you are escaping a horrible situation that you're in, you don't have time to pack. And having socks, clean socks, fun socks are just one of those items that can really support all our clients. With all those socks, some nurses brought out a gurney and piled the boxes high to wheel them out of the hospital doors. More than half of the doorways clients in the nonprofit's shelters and rehousing program are children. And the kids will get to pick out their favorite pairs. And this was a competition, so a big congratulations to the emergency department at VHC Health, who proudly told me they collected nearly 3,000 pairs just themselves. Victoria Sanchez, 7 News. Great story. Thanks, Victoria.